aggressive canvassing in Lima city centre. It's only a couple of days until the election, and although candidates promise to help the country recover from its deep institutional crisis, many Peruvians struggle to get excited about the vote. It's a disaster. I don't trust any of them. People have been let down too many times. They put their hopes in politicians that seemed trustworthy, and they still disappointed them. It's not a presidential election, it's only Congress, so people are a bit confused. They don't know who the candidates are or which party to vote for. A combination of disillusionment and incomprehension added to exceptional circumstances. It's the first time in Peru's history that the country only elects Congress. Plus, there's no government party to vote for. The new Congress should represent whoever won the battle between the executive and the legislative, right? If the president won, his party should get support. That would certainly have happened if the president had a party, but he doesn't. So people have to figure out how close the party they're voting for is to the executive. To get to know their candidates better, these people seek direct contact with those running for public office. Especially the younger generation is fed up with disenchantment being used as an excuse for inaction. If you don't want to see the same old people, it's important to vote for someone worthwhile. These people aren't going to say, all right, we'll stop the corruption so you go to vote. We need to make decisions and act in order to achieve the changes we want to see in the political system of our country. He is one of the candidates promising change. Alberto de Belaunde was a member of the dissolved Congress and is now running again. His message is clear. Every vote counts. The worst thing you can do is head into these elections wanting to spoil your vote. Because that's neither constructive nor does it get a message across. The only ones benefiting from it will be the parties that few people voted for. Because if you submit an invalid ballot paper, they will get more seats. I believe it's important for people to be aware of the power behind the vote. A vote that will determine who is going to occupy the 130 seats in Peru's Congress until the general election in 2021. Whether or not it'll be truly representative depends on the willingness of the Peruvian people.